Hey guys, how you doing today? Today we have um 2013 Hyundai Elantra GT. I've been working on this for a while and I thought it was all suspension problem, but I believe this is the the main problem with these. You can only hear it and feel it when you're driving it and also when it's running condition. So this is the running condition. We have a six speed manual. Can you hear that? Did you hear it? And when you're braking, you'll hear that one. Let me turn this off. You hear it once, but it locks. So let's try to fix that. I'll show you how to do it. Diagnosing it. Let's get to it. So we have a 2013 Hyundai Elantra GT. As you can tell a six-speed manual. I'm gonna show you what's the um, customer complaint about this. You can't even tell it once you reach the um, the speed. So we're driving it to the certain speed. I would say it's around 50 miles per hour, around 60. Let's try it right now. When you press a brake, it has a shake on the steering wheel. I don't know if you can hear it. I can feel it a little bit, but more. Let's go around and I'm gonna show you. There you go. You hear that? That sounds like a tie rod somewhere in suspension tie rod inner tie rod or um what what do you call this sometimes it sounds like the um the shock tower you know when it's like it was like jerking from the top but this let's try to recreate it again you'll hear it right here i don't press a brake listen So it's somewhere on the left side, so I would say the driver's side. One more time. There you go. That one. But, so let's go park. I checked all the suspension. I actually replaced all the outer tie rod, inner tie rod, um, stabilizer, um, stabilizer link bar, you know, Sway bar, sway bar link, that's what they call it. I changed all that. Those are all brand new. And it's the same thing. Check the bearing. Almost replaced the bearing. The bearing was fine. I checked them. Um lower control arm, upper control arm, they're all good. So the last thing that I found was that inside the steering column. So which kind of makes sense this is new to me this hyundai is it's kind of different each car are different so this hyundai had that and then found out that there's this little piece that connect the steering let me try it for you guys look so it's very possible that that's the problem when you're driving fast and the speed press your brake and it'll make that jerk something like that so it's underneath here, so we're gonna take it apart and I'll show you. So hey guys, so here's the part though that we are replacing. It's just a little plastic that goes in the power steering. And um, I got this a Dorman brand 926990. Oops, the right size. It's a common problem. Um, we are working with the airbag so we need to disconnect the negative battery but before i do that let me show you so right now i'll put it on position so i can kind of like have to disconnect this 
screw right here you have a, a Philip here because you won't be able to to reach that okay don't lose that one <laughs> I'll have it somewhere down here. So, okay, it's right here. One. Put it in the other side. Right there. So we can remove this upper or the lower cover. I'm going to try to access that power steering motor. Um, I'm trying to access that in a shortcut way we'll see if I can do it faster so that's good that's good then we can turn it off so we don't need that so set that aside and let's pull the battery take the negative cable out you got my 10 millimeter supposedly when you remove this battery had to wait 30 seconds. Not normally, I would wait two minutes before you actually work on the airbag because it saves energy and it might deploy on you. So, me, that's off. Make sure it doesn't touch it. There you go. All right. Then let's get some light. There you go. Get some light there. And a couple magnet tray so we can put our screws. These two screws. And let's get to work. Um, I would probably remove these first. This has a Philip there too. See, that's an airbag right there. So, had to be careful. And of course, we have airbag on top right here. So, before you do all that mess, make sure you disconnect the battery. Take that off. That one screw out there. I would pop this down. Let's see. Get one more screw down here. I don't see another screw, but I bet this one. Pop out. Well, of course, this one is already off, but I just put that down. This one should pop out. What is Put it from the inside if I can do it. Oh. Right there. I need a flat. I really need a flat to do this. But oh, hold on a second. Okay, so I'll grab this flat, quiet that out. I'll put it inside. I'll put it right over there. Toss it there. Let's we'll see. Let's go find something to watch while we're working. Hmm. See that is another screw here and right here on top. And top middle. So we'll just remove these. Stand. Okay. One more here. Let's um, put it there. Let's see if I can pull it down. Should be able to pull it down easily. Let's see. Well, 
I can take this OB as well. See that? Push that. That's a long break. Push that in. And this one should just should come off. See what's underneath. and move gotta have something in there short right there right here should be able to pry it out right there you go right there see it's a clip it's a clip right there see Sometimes don't force it, it'll come out. Got planter clips, work it out. I don't want to break it, you know. There you go. Uh, it kind of force it. There you go. A couple clips on there. And here, all clips, Let's set that aside. And then, let's look for NBA. Oh, watch NBA. No? Look at that one. Yeah. Okay, let's go back here. See that airbag? We need to remove that airbag. Got a couple screw in there. What's that? Ten? Yeah, that's ten. Then I can just like remove that. Set it down for now. I have another one here. Another end. I would think some model doesn't have an airbag because this is like um 2013 Hyundai GT. So a couple more up here. That's the airbag. Okay. Let me get some extension. Okay, the last one, you got four. We're gonna do um not just step by step, this is actually what I'm working on. So I don't know what I'm removing, but there you go. See that? They come out. Got one more here. Let's see what we have. It should come off, right? Oh, the screw. Forgot about it. Got a wrong screw. It should be this one. There's another one here. As you can see. Let's see. Now, I'm remove that but there's another one up there See that? right there that's what's the airbag for as well oh look at this camera all over so we're removing that there you go I can disconnect that I'm gonna just let it hang for a little bit because I just removed my negative battery. So technically, what we are looking for is right there. That piece up there. So technically I can just 
chop the whole thing. Yeah, everything's gotta be dropped. So I'm gonna have that bolt close on top. This might be okay here. That wire should be okay too. So I have a couple bolts I'm looking at. Let's find it. It's one, normally it's four. Let me see if I can find another one. Right there. Two, and this should have something in the bottom part. And I'll find it in a little bit. And that looks like a 12 or 14. Oh, there, that's one of the bolts there. All right, let's go get that bolt. <laughs> and then let's get the socket. All right. We just need an extension, I would say, 14. Maybe it's long enough. I'm using a small. I'm just lazy. But let's see. For more light. There you go. Let's put this down. Let's see what we can find you. A good spot. Up. Up. Right here. That right there. See it? Can you see it? It's absolutely right there. This one of the yellow. Let's see if that's 14. I mean 12. Yep, that's 12. Let's see it right there. You see it? Oh, I have to get stuck. But that's 12. I can remove that one. We gotta do shortcuts. Clean up a little bit. Okay. Got one out. It's just a nut. And then what's the other one at? That's the um Closer to you on the left side, and the right side should be up here. I don't know if I can show you guys. Right there. Right. Let me back it up. Start hitting my face. Actually drop already. That already dropped just a tad bit. So it's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a good sign. Okay, now I'll have to find the other two. See this one? It's already dropped a couple of them, so I need two more in the back. Let's find the other two, I'll show you. Okay, before we fully drop this. Make sure the top plastic, now I'm looking at it, and it move. That's gonna hang, so we need to separate the top piece. You can just pry it out. Yeah. So that's free. That's freely. And I think I can see the back side. Actually down here. Alright, let's find it. Okay, so it's not, so we removed two nuts here that holds this steering column. I thought there's two more in the middle, I mean, the, in the bottom side. I think there's just one long bolt and a nut. 
that holds it. And let me show you. If I can show you, I can barely see it from here. So, maybe I can go sideways. So when this move, I think, see that one? Not sure if it's that one. Yes, yeah, that, that, this right here. So when I move this, see that? So that's a long bolt. So we gotta find the nut on the other side. You have to remove that. See the steering right here? That's the whole steering column goes down to your steering joint. So I'm just trying to avoid to remove all that stuff. But this one looks like I just have to remove it, get the nut out, pull this bolt, and it will come out. It's really tight here, so I don't think I can get a video for you guys. But I'll try my best. See the other side. Okay, all right, guys. I I reach it, so it's not a bolt and not. It's just a bolt with a pointy, with a pointy end tip. So from here, he's gonna be on the right side, which is gonna be easier without the nut. You can, if you can see my ratchet. Right here, see my finger? It's right there. That's the nut right there. See? See the light? I can shine to that one. See right there. So I can remove it and show it to you. right there that's the nut there so got my I actually lose it with lose it with my big ratchet now I'm just I already break loose I'm just trying to remove it you see it show you guys right there that one so let me remove it and I'll show you okay so once you have it loose right now I can reach it you can move this steering wheel up and down and it will be easier to turn by hand so right now I'm holding the phone in my left hand then using my forearm to move it up and down so it's coming out fairly slow, but it's not tight. Let's see, it's getting there. It's about like I would say half an, um, an inch and a half long, or maybe two, might be three. All right, now it's about sticking out. Let me keep going. I like to show. So it's coming out pretty good. I haven't removed it yet. But I've seen these, it's in the way from the lower right. It's kind of like above your pedal. It's like a plastic, I guess, but for your vent, lower vent. So I'm going to remove these piece. So it won't crack when I drop the steering column. There you go. That, there you go. It just come off. Right there. So that's another thing so when you're working on something just make sure watch where you're going where where the things are going this might be okay when i drop it might be not i'm gonna drop it fully down so i think i see before i drop it that's in a way that's in a harness so i'm expecting it to drop it all the way down here in the seat so i will Remove that too. 
just to be safe. My battery disconnected, so I'm fine. So look closely. This might move just a tad bit, so I could just move it down there like that. I could either snap that, but I'll be okay, I think. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Maybe this one. See this? I got one here. See that? I got one clip here. I would probably just gonna get just for safety. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to break that. Okay, pull that with the tab and just come out. All right, let's go keep removing that bolt. Okay, so that third bolt on the back is this one. See that? It's going from here, pull it. It's about like three inches, two and a half. So it didn't drop right away. I'm gonna pull it because there is another wire that connected to that is hanging. If you can see it from here, it's it's fairly drop. However, this somewhere on that right there. If I can put my finger to it, um, right there. See it? Let me focus for you guys. I'm pretty sure I can. There you go. Up here, so you're gonna put your head down there. Then this one is attached to that metal bracket. So you're just gonna unplug it, not unplug it, pull it. Then um, that's it. Let's see how this drop. Let's show how you drop it. Pretty much leaning here. Let me see if I can push it. There you go. Push down and slowly. Let me see where we at. So that's a good tension here. You could, we could technically remove all this wiring here if you want to drop it some more. If you want to access that, so that's what we're accessing right there. Let's move this. There you go. Let me move that camera out. Camera out. That's what we need to get that one it's pretty good room right now but we do have a little stretch here so I might might as well remove all those connectors down there oh that thing drop what did I do <laughs> well oh that one that's cool that's that's fine I'm over there look at that look at that there you go. All we need is um, what is this? One, two, right there. Torque. One, two, three in the back. Let's go get that. All right. Let me keep going. Maybe T30, T35. Let's see what we have here. What's this? T20, T30. Try this T30. Oh, it's a Westbrook. Let's try that one. Oh, look at that, guys. T30. Let's check it out. Let me get you a, a good tripod here. All right, so here's the part that we were waiting. We've been waiting for. And this is a T30 torque bit. Don't copy my mistake do not take off that silver one remove the black one the one in the lower part so I'll lose them already it's easy to move so let me remove the back side first and then there's three of them I hope I'm right this time I'll remove the um, silver one first I did not open it, it wasn't coming out smoothly, so I was like, ah, it doesn't look right, so I'll put it back, and then, no, this is actually easier to remove, the black part, the black part. Let 
like what I said, this is my first time working on these Hyundai's. Common problem, and we're both gonna see what it's gonna look like. There you go, I think this is it. Check this out. Oh, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad, but let me put this down. It does not look bad. To me, it doesn't look bad. Put some light on it. It doesn't look bad. See that piece? Ah, uh, doesn't look bad, but look at those wires. I hope that's our problem. It's not as bad as what I've seen on the other videos, but that's that's a wear. You agree with me right there so we're gonna clean that Let's compare it. Alright guys, let's check this out. I was expecting a lot worse than this, but this is our... What, what's in the car right now. It's bad, but... I guess that's... Bad enough to hear those... Knocks. Let's open this one. The new one. So, well, if you feel it, this is more tougher. Of course, it's new. Then this is really soft. This one can barely squeeze it. See that? That's the comparison we have. Hope it fits good. Let's try it. And we have the, the Dorman part number 926-990. Let's try to put it on. All right, let's put it back. It wasn't too bad, right? So what I did, I didn't have to remove this fuse box and um. What else I didn't do? I didn't have to remove, I mean, at least disconnect this bottom part, the wirings, and everything just like slide down, you know, shift it down. So let's put it back, make sure everything is clean, and no debris or rubber left inside. Blow it. With the, with the air I think it's pretty good mine is pretty good so I'll put the new one right now see what it looks like I think they're both the same side so I would uh, let's try let's go like that I would say hmm I don't think it matter so let's just Install it there, then put this back on. Hopefully, it goes in smoothly. It's not gonna be aligned right away. But what you can do is spin it left and right until it, it snapped in. You know. Try it again. Or try this. Spin the 
this just a little bit the nuts goes in okay. still not so this one spins around so there you go there you go that a boy then right now we are just repeating it backwards so now we're just gonna installing everything backwards should be pretty straightforward put that torque back in all right okay once we got that in everything is tight right you tied it pretty good to go back there I got the back one already and then set this up here Let's get some lights we have next is this bolt underneath but let's align this first it should go up what I could do lift it up first Let's see if I can lift it up Ouch. this one first this one spin. All right, now we have to install this first. Some quick tip: make sure this is a little up because you're gonna make sure it's higher up, up enough to this will go in. But you're gonna be underneath, so I. Move the seat a little bit forward so it will lean in here. So when you go underneath, I use my right hand to align this bolt and my left hand holding here and my forearm will be leaning here underneath to so push up. That's gonna be tough getting down in the video, but let's get it. All right, I'll show you how awkward position this is going to be. Just to install these.
not easy, guys. But I'm getting there. I'll tell you what. somehow in. Alright. Damn it. Alright, it's somehow in there. So that's three minutes. I'll show you what it looked like. Okay, let me show you what it looked like. It's not fully in, but it's holding. Let me show you with the light on. You can see from there. See, where is it? That bolt still sticking out like a sore thumb. Right there, behind the swords. So right there. It's somewhere in. So I'm just gonna push it, then torque it. Not too bad, right? All right, almost done. All right. Now that's in. All I have to do is torque it later. And then we're gonna put these two nut this location. There will be a stud that you'll see is coming out, sticking out right there. Where's my finger at? If you accidentally move these, this is like the steering angle, steering column angle up and down. That's fine. It does move a little bit, but make sure it's just aligned on that hole. Same thing on the other side. Somewhere here. Um, what you gotta do is just hold this and kind of move the whole piece. When you have that, just let me see. See that? You're just gonna move it up and then torque this knot. Alright. Okay, putting those knots is easy. All you gotta do is just lift this on top. See how that moves? When you lift it, you'll see it, it gives you more room. And then just torque it. Okay, so those two knot down here are tight. And the third one, the, in the steering end, that's torque as well. Now what we gotta do is put everything back all the connectors so this one just goes in here just clip it there and I've disconnected this because you know it won't lower down so put that back and let me show you one thing real quick that one that wire right there that's the one I disconnected a while ago just to drop the whole thing this is kind of in the way. So what we have left is the OBD port, which is this cover down here, and um, the airbag. Let's put that together. Well, don't forget the uh, the vent. Let's put the vent first before we forget that. We have foot vent here. So there would be like um, a hole there, snap there, and then that's. Screw it. Alright, let's see if I can capture everything that I remove. Um, airbag. Find the airbag. Right here. It's my hand. Airbag facing you. Let me see. A little higher. Up. Right there. And let's just. But the nuts. There's five of them. So everything that we're putting are just backwards. That's how we removed it. Should be pretty easy, right? Make sure you don't forget anything. Double check. 
all loose wires, hanging wires like this one. See this one? This is the airbag wire. So it goes here. So we gotta do this. Make sure it click. That's your cue that you put it right. If it, if it doesn't click, pull it back. Most likely, it's not installed right. Let me see. I know there's one more here. Let's have five. There you go. Everything's there. What we're gonna do is torque them, tie them. Especially these are the airbags. And your legs. Make sure it's all right and tight. And then what's next? We have a panel underneath. Remember this? That's where the OBD goes in. Let's double check first. Any what loose wires or anything? Everything is good. OBD goes. Looks like they just one way. Let's check that. Yeah, there you go. Here it clicks. I like that sound. It tells you that you did it right. And this one just snapped in. Everything snapped in. Make sure they look flush down here. It's not sticking out. Same as here and the side. Remember that we pry something right here in the side. That three kind of clip. That's good. And we have two more screw on this side. Let's see. Let me see our screws. So we have a couple of screws here that need to go in there. Got one here. One there, we have another one. So I'm not even gonna like, fast forward this. We're pretty much done. So that's in there. How many more screws do we have? We got one more screw that goes here. And the side panel this one make sure this lip goes in that rubber strip first watch out no not easy to have one handed right here so we'll line that that's good and then what else do we have this this one there you go make sure that clip pretty good you don't want your customer seeing that loose and then the OBD cover it says fuse OBD fuse and OBD cover and that's it oh we have two more screws you know what that is right in the middle remember this in the steering turn right and left they go in that spot never forget that i know a lot of people forget that to install and that plastic behind that steering will be start moving and it will have a noise because it's rubbing this piece are rubbing on that and it's annoying you thought it was a wheel cover you think it was like something in your suspension but it's not oh man little things like that matters whatever you remove you must install it back except it's broken 
just have to replace them then. All right. That's it. So, we install everything, double check everything. What are we gonna do now? Let's verify if it works. Let's put the negative cable back. There you go. Size 10. All right. Okay. We need to test drive if it works. If we really fixed it. But quick test, remember when we, right now you can't really tell, but let's see. Let's see how tight, make sure the wheel is straight. Okay, straight. Oh. Huh. It's on. Feel much. Sounds pretty good. Well, let's test it in the road. Let's test drive it. Okay. So we gonna test drive this. Hmm. Make sure everything is good. Let's test drive this car. All right, time for test drive. Pretty loose. I mean, let's see if we can hear something here. Safety first. The seat belt on. Seat belt. No lights. No nothing. Drives good. Let me close the window so we can hear everything because sometimes you hear all the noise from the outside of the car it's hard to tell if noise is coming from the car or if it's coming from the road or somewhere else so right now The moment of truth. Sixty miles an hour. Sudden break. Hmm. Can't justify yet. Doesn't feel bad. I guess we gotta take it to the highway. Make sure everything's good. All right. All right. We're in the highway now. 
check this out. This Hyundai actually surprised me. Not too bad. Fifth gear. Quiet. pretty good not the fanciest car one more shake just a little bit somewhere else 